In this tutorial, we are talking about Angular pipes. Pipes are simply functions you can use in your templates to accept an input value and return a formatted value. In this case, you can see your data as untouched clay, which is ready to be molded. At the beginning, it's not very nice or clear what it's for, but with a little bit of crafting and molding, you can get the end result that you wanted. Angular provides built-in pipes for typical data transformation like date pipe, uppercase pipe, currency pipe, percent pipe, and similar. In my app component, I will define a date property with a value of new date. If we just display our date object in our template, you can see what kind of format we get. It's not very user-friendly. Now, let's make it nicer. To apply a pipe, use the pipe operator within a template expression along with the name of the pipe, which is the date for the built-in date pipe. Now, this is much more readable. One note here, date pipe is executed only when it detects a pure change to the input value. A pure change is either a change to a primitive input value such as string, number, boolean or symbol, or a changed object reference such as date, array, function or object. If you still don't like the output format of your date, you can fine tune it by using optional parameters. There are predefined options like short or long and others. Or you can customize it completely. For example, I'll write four E's for a day in a week, four M's for a month, one lowercase d for a day in a month, and one lowercase y for a year. You can also chain multiple pipes as well. You just add another pipe operator and a pipe name. Now, we can create custom pipes as well. Let's create a simple greetings pipe that will concatenate hello to past name. I'll use Angular CLI to generate this file for me. So, type ng generate pipe and the name is greetings pipe. In our pipe, we have boilerplate code generated. You can see that pipe decorator has been imported with a name property, which we can use to call our pipe in our templates. Also, there is a pipe transform interface, which needs to be implemented. This interface requires the transform method to be implemented, and this method receives a value passed from a template. In our case, it will be a string. And the second parameter is for optional params from pipe itself. Return type in our case is going to be a string. Now, all we are going to do here is to concatenate hello on the pass string and return that. Now, in our template, we can call our custom pipe with the greetings pipe name that we defined, and I will pass world as our string. Now, that's how you create a custom pipes. Angular pipes are very simple but useful functionality provided by Angular, and you will use them a lot. Once again, for a detailed list of all pipes, check the documentation link from the description. Also, let me know if this video helped you and if you have any suggestions for the future videos. See you in the next video.